people in New Zealand witnessed something horrifying. At least 477 pilot whales have died after being stranded on two beaches. According to officials, none of the whales could be refloated. In the past few days, several videos of animals acting in strange ways have been going around on the internet. It all started with a herd of sheep that have been moving in circles for 10 days straight. And ever since then, humans have been baffled by similar cases of strange animal behavior. Several animals, including herds of horses, colonies of ants, and pods of orcas, have been observed to wander aimlessly in circles for days at a time. On the Kola Peninsula in northern Russia, researchers captured footage of a herd of reindeer spiraling through the air. Fish, orcas, and ants were all recorded engaging in the same behavior in the river of the Pukon commune in Chile. So, what is the cause of this unusual animal behavior? And what does it mean? Let's talk about it in today's video. To be a sheep is to blindly follow the crowd, but is a sheep's sheepiness really enough to make an entire flock walk around in a circle non-stop for days on end? The internet has been pondering that question for the past week, and the answer is trickier to find than you may think. The People's Daily, China's official news agency, recently posted a chilling video to Twitter showing hundreds of sheep in China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region moving in tight, almost flawless concentric circles. The flock had been following the contour for over a week before the video was made public, and it had begun to cause concern among the farm's owners. Some people on the web speculated that the sheep were going into a death spiral, similar to what ants sometimes experience. The ruminant's condition was called circling illness by some. Soil bacteria can infect just one hemisphere of an animal's brain, causing it to tilt to that side. Yet, in a circling disease epidemic, often only a small percentage of the sheep are affected, and those that are tend to circle in their own unique way before eventually succumbing to the sickness. Images of the sheep from other sources sometimes show people standing still in the center of the circle. Agriculturalist at England's Hartbury University Matt Bell isn't convinced the mystery is an elaborate fabrication. He told Robin White of Newsweek that confined sheep might become restless and start pacing in circles after being confined for a while. This is a typical sign of captive wild animals, especially large felines. Zoacosis is a condition in which an individual engages in repetitive actions that have no apparent function. It's possible that once one herding animal begins behaving in this way, it will spread like a strange disease to the others. Because sheep are flock creatures and link or join their friends, Bell continues, then the other sheep join. According to UK Metro, the sheep's owner in Inner Mongolia saw an increase in spectators as time progressed. This lends credence to Bell's explanation. Despite this, sources state that no other flock of sheep on the same site exhibited such behavior. That was just this one specific bunch. The never-ending circle of meandering sheep brings to mind another strange occurrence that was photographed in East Sussex last year. Sheep from this period are depicted in art as standing in a tight circle, seemingly still and unruffled. Yet, in that occasion, it came out that the sheep's owner had scattered the livestock's food in rings, forcing the flock to cluster in a circular manner. There's no such explanation for the flock that has been observed circling over Inner Mongolia. The great sheep enigma will persist until further information is revealed. But this is not the first time that animals have shown odd behavior before a calamity. At least 225,000 people in a dozen nations perished when a tsunami caused by a 9.1 magnitude earthquake off Indonesia swept across the Indian Ocean in 2004. It's likely that the lack of advance notice contributed to the high death toll. Neither tidal nor earthquake sensors Two examples of local manufactured early warning systems sounded an audible alarm. As a result of malfunctions or repairs, many sensors were rendered inoperable, and in many coastal regions, no tsunami alarm warning systems existed at all. Warnings were also ineffective because of haphazard communication, with many text messages either not reaching mobiles in dangerous regions or going unread. Some wildlife, however, appeared to detect imminent danger in the hours and minutes before surging walls of water up to 9 meters high broke through the beaches. Eyewitnesses reported that animals such as elephants and flamingos fled to higher ground, and domesticated animals such as dogs stayed indoors. Some villagers in the Thai fishing village of Bang Kui said they saw a herd of buffalo on the beach abruptly perk their ears, stare out to sea, 
and then stampede up a nearby hill only minutes before the tsunami hit. Irina Rafliana, a former member of an advisory group for the United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Risk, and current researcher at the German Development Institute in Bonn, explains that survivors reported seeing animals like cows, goats, cats, and birds consciously moving inland shortly after the earthquake and before the tsunami came. Several of the survivors ran in tandem with or shortly after these animals. An undersea earthquake off the coast of Sumatra in 2010 caused a tsunami that killed approximately 500 people in the Mentawai Islands, and Rafliana tells similar accounts from her fieldwork surrounding earlier disasters. Nonetheless, other animals such as elephants were said to have reacted as if they had advanced knowledge of the event. Two days before the volcanic eruption in Tonga in January, a turtle that had just been re-released did an abrupt U-turn. Several places that are frequently affected by natural disasters lack access to early warning systems. As of 2017, the governments of over 100 countries lacked early warning systems for natural disasters to which they were prone, according to the World Meteorological Organization. In any case, these reports of animals' actions just before disasters have inspired some scientists to give serious consideration to the idea that animals might have innate systems which signal them to coming natural disasters. The possibility that animals could serve as early warning systems for people is intriguing. Animals like cows, goats, cats, and birds were seen relocating inland by survivors after the earthquake but before the tsunami hit. Professor Irina Rafliana The Greek historian Thucydides first mentioned animals acting strangely before a natural calamity occurring in 373 BC. When he wrote of rats, dogs, snakes, and weasels, fleeing the city of Helike in the days leading up to a devastating earthquake. Several other accounts are scattered across time. Animals in Naples, Italy in 1805 were claimed to have begun emitting alarm calls in unison, with oxen, sheep, dogs, and geese joining in. In San Francisco, California, horses were said to have bolted in terror before the 1906 quake. Several types of natural disasters can be difficult to predict, even with modern technologies. When earthquakes occur, for instance, seismic sensors only transform jerky squiggles during the event itself. For accurate forecasts, scientists need to find precursor signals. So far, they haven't identified any such indications that appear reliably ahead of major earthquakes. So, there's a growing trend among scientists to take into account less conventional warning signals, such as animal behavior. Five years ago, a team led by Martin Wachelski at the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior in Germany conducted one of the most important examinations into how animals could foretell calamities. Animals on a farm in the earthquake-prone marshes area of central Italy were tracked as part of the study. This method of tracking is called biologging. Between October 2016 and April 2017, callers with chips were attached to each animal, transmitting data on their movements to a central computer every few minutes. Around 18,000 earthquakes were registered over this time period, ranging in magnitude from 0.4 on the Richter scale to 6.6 .6 on the Norcia scale, with a dozen earthquakes registering 4 or higher. According to the findings, the animal's behavior began to shift up to 20 hours before the quake. A magnitude 4.0 or greater earthquake was predicted whenever the monitored farm animals showed a collective increase in activity of more than 50% for more than 45 minutes at a time. This method was successful in predicting 7 out of 8 major earthquakes. In general, animals altered their behavior sooner the closer they were to the epicenter of the imminent shock. When the intensity of physical changes increases closer to the epicenter of an imminent earthquake, as one would expect, the opposite is true further away. Unfortunately, modern technology has not yet allowed us to develop methods of accurately predicting earthquakes or other natural disasters. Scientists are currently investigating whether or not animals can detect electromagnetic changes in the atmosphere that precede earthquakes. Severe strains in deep rock, which are known to generate electronic charges called positive holes, always occur before earthquakes. Fast-moving electronic charge carriers can travel from Earth's crust to the surface, ionizing the air above their point of appearance. In numerous locations throughout the world, people have reported feeling an ionization just before an earthquake. These positive holes passage also generates ultra-low-frequency electromagnetic waves which could be detected by certain animals. Certain poisonous compounds may also develop before earthquakes because of positive holes. For instance, 
They can cause oxidation reactions when exposed to water, leading to the formation of hydrogen peroxide, which is used as a bleaching agent. Other potentially harmful byproducts like ozone could be produced through chemical reactions between the charged carriers and organic substances in the soil. As this was going on, satellites detected an increase in carbon monoxide levels across a 100 square kilometer area centered on what turned out to be the epicenter of the 2001 Gujarat earthquake in India, which had a magnitude of 7.7. It has been hypothesized by scientists that the strain on rocks caused by an earthquake could propel carbon monoxide gas to the surface. As the survival of many species depends on their ability to interpret a wide variety of environmental signals, it seems to reason that some animals, if not all, would be able to detect any tremors that would herald an impending earthquake. Sensations in fur or feathers could detect noxious substances, low-frequency waves, and ionized air. Given the difficulty in predicting earthquakes, these results raise an intriguing question. Is it possible for humans to use animal observations to accurately predict earthquakes and provide adequate warning? A bigger number of animals will need to be observed for extended periods of time in a variety of earthquake zones worldwide before they can be used for earthquake prediction. To do this, Wykelski and colleagues are using Icarus, a system installed on the International Space Station to monitor animal populations and track their movements throughout the globe. It's not just earthquakes that animals can predict with uncanny accuracy. There's mounting evidence that birds can predict the occurrence of other natural disasters. In 2014, scientists in the United States who were keeping tabs on golden-winged warblers documented an extraordinary case of what is known as an evacuation migration. Even though they had just flown the 5,000 kilometers from South America to their nesting territory in the Cumberland Mountains of eastern Tennessee, the birds suddenly took flight and flew 700 kilometers away. A terrible swarm of more than 80 tornadoes attacked the area not long after the birds had flown away, killing 35 people and causing over $1 billion in damage. The implication was obvious. The birds had detected the approaching twisters from over 250 miles away, more than 400 kilometers. When trying to figure out how, infrasound is being studied first. However, not all specialists agree that using animals as early warning systems is a good idea. Even if animal migrations are useful, they probably won't be enough to present the complete picture, so people will need to rely on a variety of early warning signals. Even though humans can't communicate with animals just yet, maybe we should start paying attention to their warnings. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about these strange animal behaviors? What do they signify? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. See you guys in the next one.